It is the end of 2023, but I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit about my sketchbook I started just even a few weeks ago. It's not done, but I wanted to kind of dive in and show you a little bit because that's kind of one of my favorite videos on YouTube to watch is sketchbook tours. So it's something I want to do more of and it'll actually keep me a little bit more accountable to show you guys my sketchbook. And the reason why I actually started to like this sketchbook and actually have been painting in it a lot more these last few weeks since I got it is it's actually skinny. It's only about 40 pages and it felt more doable to actually finish this size versus you get these sketchbooks and the companies want to fill them with a lot of paper because they want you to get a lot of value for your money, right? And so we get these nice big sketchbooks, but sometimes it just feels overwhelming to try and finish them and you start a quarter of the way or halfway and then you get a new one and a new one and you know the cycle of being an artist and sketchbooks we love sketchbooks we can't not buy them even if we don't need them so did i need this sketchbook no but has it actually helped in my sketchbooking practice these last few weeks yes because it felt more doable because it's less pages that i could maybe actually finish this so that was the first thing um when i picked it up the papers in it is actually not watercolor paper. So the paper is just normal drawing sketching paper. It's about 80 pounds. There's no texture to it like watercolor paper, but I actually like sometimes using watercolor not on watercolor paper, which is so opposite of everything you're going to hear. And I'm not saying, you know, try watercoloring on just your average computer paper. That's only like 20 pound paper, but sketchbook paper is still thicker. Like I said, this is about 80 pounds. And so it can handle the water. You just can't move the paint on it as much. So it's a little bit more actually like freeing in a way and helps you not fuss with it so much because you have to put the paint down and then just kind of let it be because if you keep working keep working it you're probably just going to end up you know getting a hole in the paper or it's just it's not going to work the same way as watercolor paper so in a weird way i've actually been liking working in this sketchbook and it only being like 80 pound drawing type paper it's kept me to be looser and quicker which is what a sketchbook should be it should be where you can just go in and you know this page took me maybe 15 minutes to do and i loved i love just playing around and that's that is the beauty of a sketchbook it should be simple it should be quick and so opposite of everything that you probably hear of what I'm going to say right now is maybe try buying a sketchbook that's not made for watercolor in a weird way because it helps you kind of just work quicker in it and not fuss over it because these sketches aren't supposed to be finished paintings that you're going to spend you know an hour to two on they should be something that you can sit down pretty quick in grab your paints and and do a painting um, the paints I've been using in this have been the Inktent uh, Derwent paints. And again, I felt like the vibrancy of them in the sketchbook did really well and, and how it just kind of handles, handles the paint. Um, I also kind of like that feeling where it's like the, when the paper gets wet, it gets a little bit crinkly and stuff. That's just like a personal preference. So sometimes when you're using watercolor paper, it's so thick. And, which it should be because you want it to be able to hold the water and do lots and lots of layers, especially for something that you want as a finished product. But uh, sometimes I just like that feeling a sketchbook too of the paper, you know, getting all crinkled and stuff from the water. It's just cool, but maybe it's just me. But um, this is Arches cold press 100 pound, 140 pound paper, um, which is meant for watercolor. And you can see that I can do multiple layers on it, which is what I do um, most of like my, my shorts on and stuff like that. That's what I'll use. If I'm gonna sit down and make something that's gonna be seen by people or be purchased, obviously I'm still gonna use watercolor paper. This is more of just like, a, this one I actually didn't make into um, a short, but uh, this is more kind of for me and practicing like I practiced this one in here and then did it on arches paper So it's also nice to practice first and then go take it to watercolor paper, which is kind of fun um, But I don't know. I've just been having a lot of fun playing in this sketchbook and it kind of helped remind me of 
letting things be quick and fast in a sketchbook and just having fun again. Again, this spread was kind of just, I started off with the house and then I was like, ooh, I kind of like these trees I did on the side. So then it kind of went into, ooh, maybe doing like a lamppost with these trees, which then spun off into doing like a fun little uh, short with, with this kind of design, which is what I kind of thought in right here. So again, it's also helping me play out and think about ideas for short form videos as well, where before I would just kind of take actually um, this Hammer Mill premium colored copy paper. So this is a little bit more textured as far as like it's, it's heavier because it's uh, 30 pound versus the 20 pound like you normally get and it has like a little bit of a gloss to it. So I'd actually kind of sketch out a lot of um, my ideas before I kind of got this sketchbook just on random computer paper. Because again, I like the looseness and fastness of not working on watercolor paper lately. Um, it's been a new development this last, probably this last six to eight months actually. Before that, if you would have talked to me a year ago, I would have said I only use watercolor sketchbooks, watercolor paper. And so it's a new thing for me and I'm really liking it. So I thought I'd tell you guys about it and let you experiment with it. You might love it, you might hate it. That's okay, it's up to you um, to kind of just play around with other types of sketchbooks besides just a watercolor sketchbook because it can help you be a little bit faster. So that's where I'm at so far into the sketchbook. Um, you kind of saw what I've worked on so far in it and I will kind of keep you updated and do a, a full one once I finish off this one. Cause again, it's only 40 pages. So maybe by the end of December here, I think so. By the end of December, I will be able to say this one is finished and be able to do a full tour of it. So partial tour of this sketchbook right now and a little bit of what I'm using for my sketchbook as well as far as not using watercolor paper, which never thought I'd say that, but it's been kind of fun. So try it yourself and uh, I'll see you guys next time.